Hey guys, first of all, I want to say a very big thank you to you guys. We're almost at 4,500 subscribers. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome. My name is Tamno. I'm Nigerian based in the Netherlands. And I love to try out old and new skincare as well as makeup products on this channel. So if you aren't subscribed already, please subscribe to my channel. So today I'm going to be reviewing CeraVe SA Smoothing Cream for Rough and Bumpy Skin as well as sharing with you guys the pros and cons of this cream. So this is what the product packaging looks like when you open it up this is what you see. This cream is really thick guys. I'm shaking this so hard. Guess what? It doesn't. It doesn't move. So that's how thick this cream is. Is. It is described to be rich, fragrance-free, gives a gentle body exfoliation. It is suitable for those who have dry, rough, and bumpy skin. It helps manage keratosis pilaris as well as psoriasis-prone skin. It claims to be fast-absorbing, leaves the skin feeling soft. It gives continuous hydration for 24 hours and it is non irritating so i'm going to do the hand swatch now so you guys can see what this product looks like when it's being swatched or applied to the skin here's what the back of my hand looks like without the cream being on it i hope it's visible first of all this is a close view i feel like this is too much for the back of my hand i'm just going to like reduce it a tad bit and here i go with this This is how thick this is. Let me like move it round or sideways. See how thick this is on my skin. So I'm just going to blend it in. Here's what the back of my palm looks like after application. And on this side, I have no cream. So with cream and without cream, do you guys notice any difference? Let me know in the comment section. So if I didn't mention, this is not a first impression video. I have been using this CeraVe SA cream for a while now. It's a little lower than half. I left this bit to see how my skin responds to this cream in winter. One thing I have to say is that this is a really thick cream. It's a lot thicker than the CeraVe moisturizing cream, which I have reviewed here. I also compared it with the moisturizing lotion. If you want to see the video, the link is just right on the screen. Anyway, this is thick, non-greasy, lightweight gives. I know it says it gives it gives 24 hours hydration, but I'll say in about 78 9 hours your skin is still very much moisturized you know there's some creams you apply to bed and when you wake up your body still feels dry this one you're not going to feel any single dryness like it's here to stay it's going to hug your skin and when you wake up in the morning your skin feels really soft the star ingredients in this product include urea salicylic acid lipohydroxy acid hyaluronic acid and three ceramides you know that anything that has to do with cerave must have three ceramides in it can this product be used on the face and body to be honest i feel like it's a yes and no at the same time the brand has formulated this for the body i have checked all cerave websites from different countries some states that you can use this on your face and body some states just use it on your body only and there was one other website i checked and they said that all salicylic acid products can be used on the face and body and um if not, do check the product label or check with your uh, medical practitioner or something like that. I'm not, I can't remember the exact words you said, but you get the drift. So I would just say that, you know, it's your choice at the end of the day. I have actually used this on my face, if I'm being very honest. I've used it three times on my face. First time was just, you know, just see how it feels on the skin. And I felt like it was too thick for my skin or for my face. And the next time I tried on my face, um, I had like rashes on my cheek. And I did it on the first day and I noticed that the rashes were, you know, reducing. I did the second day and I slept and woke up. This thing was gone. So I'm like, this is really nice. So I'll say that this will really help manage keratosis pilaris. Mainly because I used to have back acne. I'm not saying this is what cleared my back acne, but it's one of those things that you can 
use to reduce back acne or strawberry skin in any areas of your body because it's really hydrating and also exfoliating at the same time so if you don't like to wear sunscreen this lotion is not for you like just stay away from it because it contains salicylic acid you need to apply sunscreen so that your skin doesn't you know get sensitized to the sun i know right now it's kind of cold it's you know fall and um some people still feel like you're not supposed to wear sunscreen brother and sister wear sunscreen whether it's raining sunny it's cold all of them together make sure you wear sunscreen the price of this product is 23 dollars in the us in the eu and uk the price tends to fluctuate you can find this for as low as 18 pounds or euros upwards so it all depends on who you buy it from i think i got mine for hmm, i can't remember how much i got mine but anyway i'm going to leave links in the description box where you can get this cheaper so how does this product smell to be honest this has it's fragrance free let's start with that first it's fragrance free but it has a smell to me um this is more like a natural scent so in my opinion all CeraVe moisturizers or cream smells like medicine to me and this is no different so it smells like you know when you perceive when you open like a new drug from the bottle or the card when you sniff it i do sniff my medicine and i'm not ashamed <laughs> that smell oh i don't have a problem with it i'm just sharing with you guys how it smells and one thing you need to know is that this smell doesn't leave the body so like when i go to bed and wake up the smell is still there i keep saying when i go to bed mainly because i apply this lotion only at night during the day it's too thick for me whether for now i want to wait till it's a lot colder to see if i can wear it during the day during the day i like to apply lotions not creams i feel like creams are too thick or too occlusive for me i have a trick as to how i apply this on my skin every other person will normally apply this on their skin when it's towel dried i like to apply this on my skin when it's like slightly damp so i let my body air dry when i'm out of the shower and i scoop out a little and apply to every area of my body and i kind of use less as opposed to more um, because of how thick it is when it's applied on damp body it spreads more evenly and easily and i just use less you don't have to do the same um i've also used on my body when it's towel dried i tend to use more because of how thick it is you know what i'm trying to say i prefer lotions as opposed to creams yeah so to summarize this video with the pros and cons for the pros this is lightweight non-greasy it's moisturizing and it gives you eight to nine hours hydration in terms of the con it has to be the smell like i said it smells like panadol or smells like medicine and it's not a bad thing it's just that some people don't like their products being like anything which i think is almost close to impossible because you know products have to have like natural scent and that's what i think this has but some people may not like it at the end of the day so yeah that could be like a problem and also how it feels on the skin some people may not like it it gives you this film on the skin i don't know how to explain i don't know if saying fume is the right word if you've tried this out and there's a way this feels on your skin let me know in the comment section it's not bad it's just something to have in mind and sometimes sometimes it all depends on how you apply it, it tends to peel see Which is why I'm saying that it's nice when I apply it on damp skin as opposed to dry skin. I recommend this to those who have dry to bumpy skin like the brand states. So if you have like oily skin, there is a lotion based one. I think it's available in the US. I don't know if it's available in the EU or UK. I'm going to check and I'll also leave links in the description box. I wasn't able to get my hands on it. So that's why I 
I'm not comparing the lotion and the cream, but as usual, when you hear lotion or cream, you should know that the lotion is the lighter consistency to the cream version. And it will definitely do about the same job, just that one is thicker than the other. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did find it helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys, thank you so much for watching and do have a wonderful, wonderful week.